If you wake up with a puffy face, a tension, or a feeling like your face is heavy or sagging down, then this video is for you. My name is Elise, your favorite face yoga coach, and in today's full face morning flow, we're going to lift and plump the entire face to start your day. We're going to bring oxygen to the brain so that you feel more energized, and we're going to increase awareness in our facial muscles so that we have more attention if we are making mimics or expressions throughout the day that are causing wrinkles or tension. I like to do this routine in the morning before I even get out of bed, so by the time I'm walking down to get my matcha latte, I am feeling awake and rejuvenated and ready to start my day. If you'd like to receive a free PDF of the five face exercises and massages to do daily, I'll link that in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on the evening portion of this flow, as well as the morning and evening massages that are coming out next. With that, let's jump right into it. Good morning, beautiful face yogis. Let's start today's face yoga flow with a tapping massage. So while connecting to your breath, gently tap on your sternum here, breathing in and out through your nose, starting your day in a magical way, working up your collarbones, tap above and below your collarbone, and then work up the side of the neck, gently tapping along the sides of the neck, up towards the ears. We're gonna move to the face, and if you want to tap a little harder on your jaw, you can do that. Tap along your jawline, your chin, waking up the muscles, letting your face and body know that you're going to start your workout soon. Connect to your breath here and clear your mind. Just focus on your tapping. Don't focus about what you have to do today. Just be present in the moment giving gratitude to yourself for taking time for some well-deserved self-care. This workout has everything you need to radiate the beauty and joy and confidence that is already inside of you. Let's finish up our tapping massage in the same place we started. Take a deep breath in through your nose, a long breath out. On your next inhale, you can look up and you're gonna make circles with your nose. So. We'll do a few neck circles, five in each direction, to wake up the muscles of the neck, to bring fresh blood and circulation, oxygen to the neck area. Because when we increase circulation in an area of our body or our face, we are really assisting our body in the regeneration of the cells, the tissues, the muscles, keeping our body flexible, vital, and relaxed. If you haven't done so, you can reverse your circle here, going the other way, making five circles. And you want to go slow here. We have been sleeping all night, maybe in a weird position. And we want to wake up and stretch the neck without causing any additional tension. I have yet to meet anyone, client, friend, family, or otherwise that has not mention some form of neck tension. So doing something like this daily will add so much benefit to your life as well as your face yoga practice. We're going to wake up the upper face with a brow press. So take your hands and place your palm ends on your eyebrows, covering as much as your eyebrows as possible. Lift up and then to the side with your hands. Against the opposite resistance, you want to squeeze your eyes shut and we're going to hold here for 30 seconds. A helpful way to think about this for some people is like you're frowning, except you are holding the eyebrows up and to the side so the eyebrows are not moving, but you are trying to pull them down like you would want to frown. So you're squeezing your eyes in and looking down towards your chin, pulling your eyes into the socket and squeezing against the opposite resistance from your hands. Make sure to keep sitting up straight with your neck and shoulders completely relaxed as possible. Go ahead and release, great job. Take two fingers and place them on your third eye center in between your eyebrows and make a gentle small circles in this area. You can keep your eyes closed as you massage this area and then go ahead and go the other way, relaxing your head, clearing your mind, and your neck and shoulders are relaxed. Now open your fingers slightly, pressing into the skin and muscle, stretching the area in between your eyebrows. 
So as our fingers are moving slightly away from each other, we are preventing and reducing vertical lines in between the eyebrows. We're increasing circulation in the area and relaxing any muscle tension here. Keep your eyes closed, focus on your breathing, and calm your mind. Relax your head, your neck, your shoulders, and then go ahead and release. Great job. Moving back to brow press, take your palm ends, place them on your eyebrows, lift up and to the side, look down towards your chin, squeeze your eyes shut against the opposite resistance. Your elbows are up and wide. You're squeezing into your eyes, making sure your forehead is relaxed, the area in between your eyebrows is relaxed. Keep your shoulders down, your neck is relaxed. Release any tension in your jaw and keep squeezing through your eye muscles, pulling your eyes in and down against the opposite resistance of your hands, lifting up and out. Keep breathing deep here, awakening the upper face and go ahead and release. Great job. Now this time we'll do eyebrow pinches. So taking your index finger and your thumb, starting at the inner part of your eyebrows and making gentle pinches into the skin and the muscle all the way to the ends of your eyebrows. You can pinch all the way in the middle at your third eye and go as slowly as feels good here for you, releasing any tension or blocked emotions such as stress or frustration are often corresponding with our eyebrows. Sometimes we're in deep focus, scrunching our brows, failing to release tension in this area. So this is a wonderful thing to do in the morning to wake up the upper part of the face, releasing tension in the eyebrows so that everything can lift and the eyebrows aren't pulling into each other, creating frown lines, or down into the eyes, creating droopy eyelids. Keep going here. This should feel really nice. Relaxing your face, your jaw, your chin. Relaxing in between the eyebrows. And then go ahead and release. We'll do a brow press one last time. Placing your palm ends into your eyebrows, pressing up and to the sides, squeezing your eyes shut against opposite resistance. This exercise is so great for the upper part of the face. It's going to relax our forehead muscle, reversing forehead lines. And we're also going to prevent and reduce frown lines from the middle of our eyebrows here. And in addition to being such a great forehead exercise, we're strengthening the eyes, adding volume to the eye muscles, lifting the eyes, and reversing fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. This is a wonderful exercise for lifting the upper part of the face. And go ahead and release. Great job. We're going to try something new here, so be very careful or just watch to start. We're going to do fascia rolls of the eyebrows. So starting in the middle of the eyebrows, grab the skin with your index finger and thumb, and we're going to gently roll through the eyebrow, making a pinch as we do our fascia rolls on these sides of the face. So we're doing the fascia roll through the eyebrow, pinching the skin and rolling it all the way to the hairline. So we have a, a pinch of skin in our fingers and we're rolling that with our index finger and thumb all the way to the hairline. So a grab hold of the skin. You may have to play with it a little bit so you get a good grip. Find out where your fingers sit naturally and then you'll see you, you grab the eyebrow and you very gently, very, very gently roll the skin and muscle all the way to the hairline. This can be very sticky, very tense, and filled with adhesion. So be very careful here, but it's amazing for releasing tension in the eyebrow. We'll do this again so you get the hang of it. And again, I can't stress this enough. Be very careful. You don't want to pull your skin out or drag your skin. This is a very gentle fascia roll all the way to the side of the face. When we do these fascia rolls in an area that has never received any circulation or TLC, it, 
it is possible to get little red marks. They will completely go away in in a day, but if you're not careful and you're and you're too rough, you can see a little redness. So be very careful, be very gentle. Do not pull your skin outwards. You are just rolling it. So you don't want to pull your skin out. You're simply rolling it to the sides of your face. Beautiful. Continuing with the upper part of the face, we're going to move on to double V. So take your index finger and middle finger, place them on the inner and outer corners of your eyes. Open your fingers slightly, about one millimeter, so you feel a slight activation and resistance coming from the fingers. And then look up and squint like you're looking up at the sun and squinting at a bright light. The activation should mainly be coming from the lower eyelid here. So keep this position, breathing in and out through your nose. Relax the area in between your eyebrows and your forehead. Relax your jaw and your chin. And this is a very, very slight movement. As you can see, our lower eyelid is slightly lifted here. So as you release tension in the neck and the shoulders, the jaw, and other parts of your body, you're going to realize that the activation in the intended muscle, which is the lower eyelid in this case, is magnified. Really activate through that lower eyelid for the last couple seconds, squeezing it as much as possible, and then release. Great job. Take three fingers and place them underneath your eyes on the eye bone and make gentle circles. Close your eyes and breathe in and out through your nose and place all of your awareness underneath your eyes. Go ahead and reverse your circle and feel how amazing this feels to release any tension, stagnations, adhesions, and bring a beautiful blood and circulation to the area. Go ahead and release and we'll do a double V for the second time, placing your hands in position. Now make sure you're not dragging down with your fingers here. We're activating through the lower eyelid and imagine you're lifting your fingers one millimeter up and to the sides. So you want to avoid your fingers dragging down on your skin. This is a very lifting exercise for our lower eyelids. Place all of your awareness in your lower eyelid and imagine it lifting up and strengthening and plumping because that is what this exercise does. It's strengthening that lower eyelid, adding volume to the lower eyes. It's a very subtle movement, but very powerful. So really visualize the effects of this plumping and toning and releasing dark circles, plumping in those eye bags, and go ahead and release. Take three fingers, place them underneath your eyes, close your eyes, make gentle circles here. Be careful not to drag or pull on your delicate under eye skin. Go ahead and reverse your circles, breathing in and out through your nose, remaining upright seated, relaxing through the neck and shoulders, and then go ahead and release. Last time, double V, placing two fingers on the inner and outer corner of the eyes. And other than reducing dark circles, puffiness, reducing wrinkles, this exercise also tones that transition between the cheek and the eye muscle. So we're reversing those tear troughs, waking up the eyes, strengthening the eyes. If you want to try the dynamic version of this exercise, you will make pulses with your lower eyelid or you can statically remain holding and lifting. Both are very beneficial. Adding a dynamic form of the exercise will help increase the volume. So making pulses with that lower eyelid, it's very subtle, but very effective. Keep breathing in and out through your nose. Relax your chin and your jaw and go ahead and release. Great job. Last time, making little massage circles underneath our eyelids. Our fingers are on the bone, massaging gently, making sure not to drag the skin. Feel how amazing this feels to increase circulation under your eyes, brighten this area, and bring a life and vitality to your lower eyelids. Go ahead and release. Moving a slight bit lower down the face, we're going to do upper facelift. So, Wrap your upper lip around your teeth, 
place your palm ends at the corners of your mouth with your hands cupping your cheekbones and your fingers resting gently on the outsides of your eyes. Now with your upper lip wrapped tightly around your teeth, you're going to lift your cheeks up like you want to smile. Feel your cheeks lifting into the cups that your hand created, lifting up, expanding, adding more volume and more lift as you hold in this pose. Relax your forehead and the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your chin and your jaw and remain sitting up straight, keeping your neck and your shoulders relaxed. Go ahead and release and we're going to do an exercise called total facelift. So make a small O with your mouth and then place your hands on your face so that your index finger and middle finger are next to the eyes and your pinky finger and ring finger are moving from the corner of your eyes, the inner corner, all the way down past the nasal labial fold. So again, we're lifting our cheeks up like we want to smile and you want to keep the O small and in place. So the cheeks are lifting up and this is a great exercise for anyone who doesn't like to wrap their lips around their teeth. You're getting a very similar activation, but without having to wrap your lips around the teeth. So the hands are offering a few different purposes. One of them is to keep the face from wrinkling on the sides of the mouth near the nasal labial folds. And the other is for that mind-body connection. You can feel your cheeks lifting underneath your fingers, lifting up. Now, in this exercise, you can either do the static form where you lift and hold or you're welcome to try the dynamic form where you pulse your cheeks up, you release, and then you pulse them up again. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and when you're ready, you can go ahead and release. Next, we're going to take our index finger and thumb and make a pinch next to the nose. So your thumbs are at the base of the nose and the index finger is next to the corner of the eye. Pinch this area together and you want to make sure you're not dragging the skin down or pulling down. In fact, I like to add a little a lift here just to make sure I'm not pulling down on the skin and muscle. We want to relax this very tense muscle that runs next to the nose. And this muscle, when tense, is one of the main causes of nasal labial folds. So we're holding here for 30 seconds, really getting fresh blood and oxygen to this muscle, helping to relax and release tension in the muscle. If you feel your hands slipping or you need to readjust, just release and reset up so you're properly pinching in the right area. Go ahead and release. And then now we want to stretch this muscle with our index fingers moving gently away from each other, really stretching through this muscle. This will feel very good if this muscle is tight for you. Go ahead and switch to the other side, pulling the index fingers away from each other, stretching through that muscle, releasing any tension on the side of the nose. Keep breathing in through your nose and go ahead and release. Great job. Moving back to upper face slip, we're going to wrap our upper lips around our teeth. Place your palms of your hands at the corners of your mouth. So you're pressing the corners of your mouth inwards. The hands are cupping the cheekbones and we're lifting our cheeks into our hands. Make sure your fingers stay next to the outer corners of the eyes so you don't create those wrinkles on the outer corners of the eyes. The hands are offering a smoothing force to the nasal labial folds and the eye corners. So the only thing we should be activating here is our upper lip wrapping around our teeth and our cheeks lifting up towards our cheekbones. So really imagine you're from the corners of your mouth all the way through your temples, lifting up and out, filling with volume, and then go ahead and release. Great job. Moving on to a total facelift, make a small O with your mouth. Place your hands in position, stabilizing the entire face here. And then lift your cheeks up into your hands. And notice how this exercise is feels different than the previous one. In upper facelift, we're lifting up and out. And here, we're mainly lifting up. So try to notice the difference 
in the two different cheek exercises, both amazing for lifting and toning the cheeks, uh, a little different and a little different results. Make sure your hands stay in position so you're not creating any smile lines. And again, if you like to do the dynamic version of this exercise, you can make pulses lifting the cheeks and releasing. The dynamic form of these exercises offers a little more volume where the static form offers a little more lift. Both are extremely beneficial and it's really up to you what you prefer and what works best for your individual face. Make sure you keep the integrity of the O here and keep lifting your cheeks up. When you're ready, you can go ahead and release. Great job. So this time we're gonna try another type of pinch. We're gonna do the nasal labial pinch. So gently open your mouth and pinch down into the skin and muscle following the smile line. This exercise is great for plumping and firming the skin around the nasal labial folds. We're increasing circulation and bringing fresh blood and oxygen into this area. So very regenerative for the smile lines. Make sure you're pinching down into the muscle and you're not lifting the skin. We're pinching into the skin, into the muscle, holding and then releasing and then moving down, holding and releasing. Don't pull the skin outwards or lift the skin up. Go into the muscle here. This is our second of three pinches around the mouth and nasal labial folds. All of them super effective in releasing tension, firming and plumping the skin, as well as increasing circulation. Keep breathing through your nose, relax your neck and your shoulders. And again, focus all your awareness where you are working. So any tension you can release in the face, the shoulders, place all of your awareness and attention on plumping this area. Really visualize this area of plumping and coming to life. Go ahead and release, and we're going to do this series one last time. So back to upper face lift. Wrap your upper lip around your teeth. And if you want to try the dynamic version here, you're going to lift your cheeks up and pulse. This exercise, whether static or dynamic, is so great at lifting and toning the cheeks, especially the outer part of the cheekbones and temples. So it's great for toning and strengthening the mouth. You're going to reverse upper lip lines by stretching through this mouth muscle here, and it's great for reducing nasal labial folds. So keep lifting. Make sure you're not leaning forward. If you can, lift slightly on the outer corners of your eyes so you're not pulling your eyes down and then make sure to relax the inner part of your eyebrows your jaw really focus on your cheeks imagine them lifting up plumping expanding with volume and widening out into a beautiful contoured cheekbone keep going here remember to breathe relax your chin your neck, you're doing a great job. Go ahead and release. All right, last time, total facelift. Create a very small O with your mouth. Place your hands in position and lift your cheeks upward into your fingers, making sure your face is stabilized. This is another great exercise. It's going to stretch the muscles of the face we are lifting and toning the cheeks. And I wanna mention if you feel like you are creating lip lines in this pose, just wrap your lips around your teeth and do this with the long and narrow O that we usually do with our lips wrapped around our teeth. It's an amazing thing to be intuitive when doing face yoga poses. Find out what works for your particular face, your skin, and if you would like a modification, please let me know and I would be happy to offer any modifications. If you think you're creating wrinkles with a certain pose or you're having tension where you shouldn't be, just leave me a comment and I'll help you out with any modifications so you are able to do that pose comfortably and effectively. Go ahead and release. And the last pinch we're going to do is lip pinches. So Again, we're using our index finger and thumb and gently pinching behind our lips from side to side. So once you get to that little ball on the side of your mouth, the mouth corners, you'll just move to the other side 
and completely relax your mouth here. Your lips should be completely relaxed, letting your fingers do all the work and releasing any tension, stagnation, or adhesions in this area. A relaxed lip is going to reverse lip lines, it's going to reverse nasal labial folds, it's going to release the tension out of the lower part of the face. This is a very common area to hold tension. Moving to the lower face, we're going to do jaw busters. So wrap your upper and lower lips around your teeth and send your mouth corners to your back molars. You're going to gently open and close your mouth while slightly looking up. Make sure the lips are pulling into the mouth as much as possible so your cheeks and your jowls, are, like you're trying to suck them into your mouth here. You should feel a nice stretch in the lower part of the face at the jowls area. And go slow here. You don't need to go too fast. Make sure you are not changing the position of your lips. And if you notice wrinkles on the sides of the mouth, Hold your hands at the sides of the mouth so that you're not creating creases or additional smile lines. Go ahead and release. And we're going to do this exercise two more times. So place your hands on your collarbone or next to your mouth corners. Wrap your lips around your teeth. And really pull those lips inwards. Your back, your the outer corners of your mouth are pulling back towards your back molars. Like you're pulling your cheeks, your jaws into your mouth. Really feel the activation here. Relax the area in between your eyebrows. Relax your forehead. Make sure you're not tensing anything in the upper part of the face or in the jaw area. Relax your, your neck and your shoulders. Stay connected to your breath here. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and release. And we're going to do this exercise one last time for maximum effectiveness. So wrap your lips around your teeth. Place your hands in the position that works best for you. And then go ahead and make small movements with the mouth opening and closing as you lift your face, pulling those lips in. Really put your all of your awareness on pulling the lips in and stretching through that jaw area. This is amazing for reducing jowls for reducing upper lip lines it's going to help with smile lines toning the jawline firming up the skin on the neck it's an amazing exercise for the lower part of the face keep breathing deep here try to relax your neck and your shoulders and when you're ready you can go ahead and release great job Next, we're going to do the jawline sculptor exercise. So look to one side, protrude your chin, slightly lift up, and then take your hand and make pats all the way from your chin down to your shoulder. So your lower teeth should be underneath your upper teeth. Breathing in and out through your nose, your chin is slightly lifted. And make sure you're sitting up straight and your shoulder blades are back and moving towards each other. Move to the other side. Protrude your chin slightly, lift your head up, and make gentle pats all the way down from your chin to your shoulder. Make sure that you're not carrying any tension in your chin here, and your upper and lower lip are relaxed. Make sure you don't lift your head too much, it's just a slight lift. And then go ahead and release. Great job. Now we're going to take the tension out of the jaw with a jaw massage. So with one hand, you're going to stabilize the chin. And with the other hand, using your knuckles, you're going to make deep circles into your jaw muscle. Make sure you're not causing any pain, but you want to do at least 10 circles one way and then 10 circles the other way. Move a little lower and then do the same thing. This can be a deep massage. Our muscle here is often very tense and very strong. So it really benefits from a deep massage to release out the tension, especially when we've been sleeping all night. And if you experience teeth grinding or jaw tension, it's great to release this in the morning when you wake up so you're not grinding your teeth throughout the day. Move the stabilizing hand slightly in so your finger is right underneath your mouth corner. And with your other hand, your index finger and thumb, you're going to contour the jawline all the way from your finger 
up the jaw to your ear. This should feel really nice, massaging the entire jawline. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. So it's stabilizing the face and with the knuckles, really deeply massaging at a circular motion, starting from the top and then working down. If you find it easier to make an up and down and side to side movement with your knuckles, you're welcome to do that. As long as you're not dragging and pulling on the skin, we're really trying to make small, move, small but deep movements here. So jaw tension can be the cause of a lot of our facial issues, including nasolabial folds, marionette lines, and jaws. So it's so important to release the tension in this area. Also, it feels good. It helps with headaches, grinding teeth. It's really going to benefit your face and your health in so many ways to release tension in the jaw. Place your stabilizing hand underneath your mouth corner and with the other hand, contour the jawline with your index and thumb all the way from the stabilizing hand up towards the ear, releasing any tension, stagnation from the jaw and helping to sculpt it upwards and tone the jawline. Relax your head and your neck and when you've done about 10 of these, you can release. Now let's release any tension in the shoulders and upper body before we start our day. Place your hands on your shoulders and bring your elbows to touch three times. When you've done three, you can move the opposite direction, bringing your elbows back and forward. Finally, we're going to do eagle arms. So take your left arm and make it at a 90 degree angle in front of your face. With your right arm, you're going to place it underneath your left arm and try to bring your palms together to touch, really stretching through the back shoulder blades here. Lift your elbows up so you feel a deep stretch in the back of the shoulders here and breathe deep. Make sure you're sitting up straight and your head and neck is relaxed. If your palms are not touching, that's okay. You can go ahead and release when you're ready. This time the left arm will wrap underneath the right arm. Bring your hands together, raise your elbows up. Feel the stretch in the back of the shoulders here and the upper back. Breathe deep. And this is really going to help create great posture for you throughout the day. So remember to sit up straight Roll your shoulders back away from your ears and have great posture throughout the rest of your beautiful day. Now we're going to finish off with a ear massage here. Grab your ears, make circles, make sure you massage the top, the bottom, and the middle of your ears. This is going to give you a lovely energy boost to your day. It's going to create space in your head for your brain to move around and think and do all of the things it needs to do. Keep massaging here. This should feel really nice, opening up the face, the ears, and then make a comb with your fingers. Place them on the inner and outer sides of your ears and gently comb down to your collarbone, encouraging and increasing the lymphatic drainage away from your face after we've done this beautiful lifting and plumping workout. This will be the last move for today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the full face evening routine. Namaste, and I'll see you in the next video.